15 Traditional Chinese Foods You Cannot Mississippi You probably know that the Chinese food from your go-to takeout spot isn't actually traditional Chinese food. Being the world's most populous country, Chinese has an array of authentic cuisine that is incredibly varied and vastly different from one region to another. That means expanding your palate to the world of traditional Chinese food can be overwhelming if you don't know where to start. The following are 15 of the most popular dishes you've got to try. 1. Fried Rice Rice is a staple in Chinese cuisine. Chinese fried rice is a complete meal that feeds the entire family. The combination of ingredients can be anything from protein, chicken, pork, shrimp, to vegetables, carrots, mixed vegetables. It's a wholesome meal for dinner. It also happens to be simple and quick to make at home. For the best fried rice, leftover rice will be best. 2. Peking Duck Personally, I think Peking Duck is the best way to eat duck. Crispy roasted duck sliced into bite-sized pieces, rolled up in a wrapper with salad and hoisin sauce. Peking duck is seasoned, dried for 24 hours and cooked in an open-air oven called a hung oven, so it's not something you can really replicate at home, but it is something we recommend seeking out at a traditional Chinese restaurant. It's traditionally carved and served in three courses, skin, meat, and bones in the form of broth, with sides like cucumbers, bean sauce and pancakes. 3. Stinky Tofu the name kind of says it all, stinky tofu is fermented tofu with a strong odor, and it's said that the stronger it smells, the better it tastes. Tofu is brined in a mixture of fermented milk, vegetables, meat and aromatics before fermenting for up to several months, kind of like cheese. Its preparation depends on the region, but it can be served cold, steamed, stewed or deep fried with chili and soy sauces on the side. 4. Chow mein. Other than rice, noodles are a mainstay in Chinese cooking. Just like with fried rice, there are endless variations on chow mein. For busy parents, this is an easy dish to make for the entire family. And if you can't find traditional Chinese egg noodles or chow mein noodles, you can use cooked spaghetti to make the dish instead. 5. Kanji Kanji, or rice porridge, is a nourishing, easy-to-digest meal, particularly for breakfast. Kanjis differ from region to region, some are thick, some are watery and some are made with grains other than rice. It can be savory or sweet, topped with meat, tofu, vegetables, ginger, boiled eggs and soy sauce, or mung beans and sugar. And since it's ultra comforting, kanji is also considered food therapy for when you're sick. 6. Chinese Hamburger A pita-like bun filled with tender braised pork is decidedly not what we ever thought of as a hamburger, but it's delicious nonetheless. The street food originates from Shanxi in northwest China, the meat contains over 20 spices and seasonings and since it's been around since the Qin Dynasty, some would argue that it's the original hamburger. 7. Scallion Pancakes No maple syrup here, these savory pancakes are more like a supremely chewy flatbread with bits of scallion and oil mixed throughout the dough. They're served as street food, in restaurants and fresh or frozen in supermarkets, and since they're pan-fried, they have the ideal balance of crispy edges and soft insides. 8. Kung Pao Chicken This is probably the most well-known Chinese chicken dish outside of China. It's also an authentic and traditional dish that you can find in many restaurants in China. The spicy stir-fried chicken dish originates from the Sichuan province of southwestern China, and while you've probably had the westernized version, the real thing is fragrant, spicy and a little bit mouth-numbing, thanks to Sichuan peppercorns. 9. Bazi. There are two types of bazi. I, or bao, davao, big bun, and xiao bao, small bun. Both are a bread-like dumpling filled with everything from meat to veggies to bean paste, depending on the type and where they were made. They're usually steamed, which makes the buns delightfully squishy and soft, and served with dipping sauces like soy sauce, vinegar, sesame oil and chili pastes. 10. Mapo Tofu. Maybe you've heard of or even tried mapo tofu, but westernized versions of the Sichuanese tofu beef fermented bean paste dish are usually much less spicy than their traditional counterpart, which is laden with chili oil and Sichuan peppercorns. Fun fact, the literal translation of the name is pockmarked old woman's bean curd, thanks to origin stories that claim it was invented by a, well, pockmarked old woman. It's got a little bit of everything, textural contrast, bold flavors and lots of heat. 11. Char siu. Technically, char siu is a way to flavor and cook barbecued meat, specifically pork. 
It literally means fork roasted, because the Cantonese dish is cooked on a skewer in an oven or over a fire. Whether it's pork loin, belly or butt, the seasoning almost always contains honey, five spice powder, poison sauce, soy sauce and red fermented bean curd, which give it its signature red hue. If you're not already drooling, char siu can be served alone, with noodles or inside bazi. 12. Jatsuyumi N. These fried sauce noodles from the Shandong province are made with chewy, thick wheat noodles, aka kumian, and topped with jatsuying sauce, a rich mixture of ground pork and fermented soybean paste, or another sauce, depending on where you are in China. It's sold just about everywhere in the country, from street vendors to fancier restaurants. 13. Wonton Soup Wontons are one of the most authentic Chinese dumplings. The wontons themselves are made with a thin, square dumpling wrapper and can be filled with proteins such as shrimp, pork, fish or a combination, depending on the region, Yin Lo's own recipe calls for shrimp. The broth is a rich concoction of pork, chicken, Chinese ham and aromatics, and you'll often find cabbage and noodles mingling with the wontons. 14. Soup Dumplings On the other hand, soup dumplings are dumplings with the soup inside. The filling is made with a pork stock that's so packed with collagen, it solidifies as it cools. Then it gets folded into a delicate wrapper that's pleated into a neat little packet and steamed, melting the broth. To eat, simply bite the top off and slurp out the broth before popping the rest in your mouth. 15. Hot Pot Less a dish and more an experience, hot pot is a cooking method where raw ingredients are cooked tableside in a giant pot of simmering broth. There's a lot of room for variation, different broths, meats, veggies, seafood, noodles and toppings. It's also meant to be a communal event where everyone sits down together and cooks their food in the same vessel.